Hello and welcome. During the next uh, weeks, I am going to prepare a series about uh, keeping your vibration high and manifesting the life that you want. So today is episode one of this uh, series of videos that I am going to create. So uh, today's video is going to be about manifesting the reality that you want. It's more of an introduction to uh, this uh, series of videos. Uh, and I'm going to talk about how to manifest what you want in your life, whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to talk about what I've learned in my life and also from my experience and my point of uh, view and what has really worked for me and what works in my opinion. So let's get started. First, uh, how to manifest, how to create that charismatic presence and create that energy in yourself, the energy that uh, can create and manifest the reality that you want. There is this non-physical field which creates everything that surrounds us. We are at any point in time in contact with it. This field is a combination of our thoughts and our feelings. So even that we don't see it, in fact, there is this energy field that surrounds us everywhere, everywhere around us. We can feel it in a, this in other people. We can feel this in different environments that we go. And we also influence this field with our vibration and it influences us back. We have to become emotionally current by breaking the addictions of the past frequencies. We all have some addictions of maybe suffering, of bad emotions, but we have to get out of this uh, field and these addictions because emotions are uh, highly addictive and in fact everyone is an addict to certain emotions some people are addicted to suffering, some people are addicted to high frequencies and high vibrations. We all are addicted to certain emotions. We may get out of that state for some small period and then have the tendency to get back to that. And maybe even when something good happens, we don't have the nervous system to handle that thing and uh, can see uh, our vibration that is not not really consistent so it's really a process of breaking the addictions with the past frequencies we often have our lives built sometimes on routines that we do automatically just for example our morning routine everyone has some tendencies some uh, things that they do uh, somewhat automatically during the day, their day and like those routines we also have addictions and are prone to feeling certain emotions for example in the same situation one person can be really content and happy another person will complain and feel unhappy and a lot of this is about past uh, we are addicted to the past frequencies 
So there is this energetic field. There's this, uh, we can also call it uh, God's consciousness that surrounds us. Everything is energy, even if we can't see it. For example, money is energy. And everything that we want in our lives is energy. Is created by the same energy that we ourselves are created. So just be aware of this field and this energy that surrounds us. But uh, how to break these addictions? To break these addictions of past emotions, you have to become more emotionally current. And it's about the thoughts and feelings that you have on a daily basis. Because let's say you have a vision board where you have your dreams and everything uh, you want to create in this life. Or maybe you have written your goals or you have thought about what you want uh, once, but this doesn't matter. The things that really, really matters most are our thoughts and feelings that we have on a daily basis. That's why I meditate every day. That's why, for example, when I have to go somewhere or while getting ready to go somewhere, I listen to high vibration things. I listen to my favorite mentors, for example, for free on YouTube or on different um, self-help programs uh, that they offer to keep uh, my vibration high. And these thoughts, images are like food for us. We have to feed ourselves the positive uh, emotions, the things that are in the same vibration with with the life that we want to have and uh, the things that we want to manifest in our lives. So be careful, watch your thoughts and feelings on a daily basis. You have to feed yourself with uh, positive meditation and um, journaling and just positive thoughts to with everything you listen and everything you ha you come in contact with. In fact, you don't get punished for your sins. You get punished by your sins. What this means, uh, for example, when someone commits a crime, they just start to feel unworthy, start to feel that uh, maybe they are consciousness of what they've done. So they manifest getting caught. Just think about this. The, I want to say that gut consciousness, this field or the law of attraction or whatever you call it, doesn't judge, doesn't say, for example, you want a lot of money, you want a lot of things, this is greedy. No, no. If you can hold that vibration, it gives you the same frequency that you send to the universe. So you get more of the frequency that you send. I attract things according to the frequencies, and this is the law of the universe that works for everyone. God consciousness doesn't judge you. Whatever frequency you send, you will receive more of that. If you send out negative feelings on a consistent basis and thoughts of that nature, but feelings are really more important and the most important part is that your feelings and your thoughts uh, are aligned. So God doesn't judge what you want. 
if it is positive or negative. It just gives you more of what you want. And we, uh, that's why I say that you have to break that addiction to negative feelings and to suffering. The physical body has been designed so that you do things on a daily basis. And on some level, this is good because we create routines, which is our, which are automated and they work uh, like addictions for us. But the same is true for emotions and states and frequencies. We go to the same places with the same frequencies. We do the same things on a daily basis, which are automated. And this is good. This has helped people uh, survive. And this is some kind of memory that we have. For example, we do the same road to work every day without uh, thinking. We're just automatically there because that's the way memory works. This is positive, but on the other hand, it is negative too, in the sense that we become uh, addicted to a certain frequency in our lives and we just know how to manifest that, but we don't know how to manifest something more, something more different. That's why I say we have to just make that flow, change our frequency, uh, introduce something new in our lives more often to change that frequency. So change your frequency to attract something different. And the only way to do this is to live in the present moment. So you can't manifest in the past or in the future. You can only manifest in the present moment. Every time you have a thought that relates to the past version of you, bring yourself in the present moment. We all evolve in, during our lives and in fact, we should aim for that to evolve, to become a different person. And the most successful people, people who are truly admirable, change and progress and even really fast. For example, uh, one year after uh, today, these people are completely different persons, completely with different, more achievements, making more money, creating more better health, um, better uh, habits. So it's normal to change and to evolve. But when sometimes we get thoughts that are more related to the past version of ourselves, just know that, just say to yourself uh, consistently affirmations like, that is then and this is now. This is the version of you now. So every time you have a thought that relates to the past version of you, bring yourself to the present moment. Uh, of course, to manifest um, things and uh, more practical ways to just also keep your high vibration not just be some for some time for one time for example um, or for limited time in high vibration you have to uh, do some rituals consistently of course creating a vision board is really important and i'm going to talk about this um, more in the in this series of videos but uh, you will need to have also habits that uh, bring you consistently to a higher vibration or for example morning routines that bring you to a high vibration and 
set you up for a high vibration for the day. For example, uh, visual, visualizing for 15 minutes every day, the thing that you want. Every day, uh, in addition to manifesting, uh, as soon as I wake up, to uh, doing uh, the meditations uh, that I do as soon as I, I wake up, uh, I also do sometimes um, later in the day uh, some manifest manifestation um, exercises and meditation. For example, um, it is really, really helpful uh, to do them uh, while taking a bath. Just creating that environment of total relaxation because often when we relax, we can manifest uh, better and uh, faster the things that we want. So this is really helpful. Um, or for example, you can just take a shower and then oil your body. And then after that, just meditate in the bed. Um, not just simply a meditation, but a manifestation meditation. And sometimes doing this uh, in the bath uh, helps a lot because um, it, uh, manifesting with water is one of the best ways I found to uh, create that works, that creates what we want. We need to be in that state of total relaxation in order to um, manifest. This is the best way. Uh, and in fact, uh, you know that when we want, really want something and we fight and fight, fight for it, we don't get it. But the moment that we let go and just say, say whatever and simply relax, that is the moment that that thing comes to us. But why not do this every day? Uh, for example, that while taking a bath and uh, manifesting while in total relaxation, maybe listening to some manifestation audio. There are really good ones on YouTube on every topic. I like to listen to... Uh, the ones that are related to my the th my topic, the thing that I want to manifest, whatever comes to my mind the day, like financial freedom, uh, money, abundance, relationship, whatever I want for that day. And I also create my own sometimes if uh, the, the thing that I want to manifest is for example, exclusive to me, and uh, I create a manifestation meditation, then I listen to it. So the environment helps uh, a lot with manifesting uh, what uh, we want. And the electromagnetic field, this field that surrounds us, gives more of what we are feeling at every moment we need to take into consideration that this field works at every given moment so uh, you need to um to not think negative thoughts all the time to just think positive but it's hard to control our thoughts of course we all know that that it's really hard to get in our head and control our thoughts but feelings feelings are those that are really uh, helpful in this because feelings don't uh, lie sometimes we can say uh, things in our mind like i am rich i have money in my bank and things like that but if you really know that that's not true you can say it with words but something says no no something inside you uh, just uh, negates that and that is the subconscious that's why we don't uh, manifest sometimes but feelings no feelings are true that's why we need to influence our feelings but just uh, while uh, 
only listening to positive materials, watching positive things. So uh, feelings are really true and uh, are what uh, the synteny between thoughts and feelings is what uh, helps us manifest. So, of course, um, the next thing that I'm going to mention, uh, I think you already maybe have heard about this, but uh, to manifest, you need to live a, uh, as if it, it's already happening. And if it's like it's already there. But this is hard a lot of time. Uh, of course, it's hard because if it's not really happening, it's hard to believe and it's hard to live as if it's already happening. So one thing that uh, has helped me a lot to um, just live as if it is already happening when it's not, is to tr trust the process. So uh, I am really obsessed with self-help and courses and things to just uh, help me to uh, bring myself to the next level. And the moment that I uh, sign up for a course, for example, uh, of this nature, which is related with the things that I want to manifest, I trust the process. So the moment I sign up, I know that it's already happening. Because if this happened for um, another person, it is going to happen for me too. This helps a lot for me to trust the process. Even when uh, there are periods that I feel down or there's a down period that it uh, doesn't seem like a progress or like uh, I, it feels like I did some steps back, I trust that even this is part of the process because uh, in the long run I'm progressing. And in fact, I now uh, bounce back quickly than before when something negative happens. And this helps a lot to uh, just see, see your uh, progress. And when I uh, just um, take an initiative and uh, take the information, for example, from a course or uh, some material where I can find that information or uh, advice, coaching from someone who has already done what I want to do, it helps me a lot to live as if it's already there and it's already happening. And I know the results because if I... Uh, bought the course for that result, I know that I will achieve it and it's already there. And while I try to uh, really like the process of doing it and following uh, the thing, all the steps. So wake up as if it's already happening. Dress as a worthy woman. Already live that reality. Listen to self-help programs while you commute. It helps a lot. There are a lot of free materials, even on YouTube, positive things that you can um, learn a lot from them. Listen to them if they are related to the life that you want to create because it's coming you just need to match your uh, feelings and thoughts so that's all for this uh, first part uh, i will continue in the next days to uh, create the different uh, episodes and parts of uh, this series so thank you for watching bye